Rawr. 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 Hello, my esteemed channel viewers. It is the first Sunday of September. And last week was like kind of like the last week of most of the school holidays being over. So kids are going back to school. And what do you know? The sun comes out in all its majesty. And if you lived in Ireland, you know you're not going to get a lot of days like this towards the end of the year. So we're going to make a little trip. And I decided I'm going to go to Skerries. Uh, basically because it is a part of Ireland that I actually never been before on a motorbike so uh, we're going to take the Interceptor 650 behind me and we're going to scout out some roads and uh, well we're, the destination is scary but <laughs> scary uh, but I doubt that we'll, we'll stop there and uh, continue around the coast and see how far we can go and uh, maybe get some lovely footage on the way. It occurred to me when staring at Google Maps for new destinations and I've always avoided the Dublin Upper Coast. And that is mostly because you can't get around the motorway. You have to go onto the motorway if you want to go that direction. Otherwise, you're going to make a very, very, very long detour. And since Badger was never really a bike to be spending a lot of time on the motorway, I always put it on the long shelf and ventured more west or even south. But today we're going to make a different approach. So we're taking the interceptor and we're going to make short of those pieces of motorway and then just veer off to Skerries and see what's there on the coast. Because a road not travelled is a road wasted. So as soon as we left the motorway, we were on our way to our destination, but we had to pass through the town of Lusk. And as I was like approaching the town and with the full intent just to go across it, I spied something with my little eye that piqued my interest. And I knew I just had to stop to see what was that. Monastery was founded here by the Saint MacQuillan at the end of the 5th century. It was plundered by the Vikings, yay, in 1827 and 1856, and by the Irish in 1053, 1089 and 1133, when each time a number of people died or take a refugee in the church. The round tower incorporated in the belfry is the only remnant of the early monastery. That's what I thought. The square belfry tower was built in the 15th and 16th century. Continued the tombs of James Birmingham, 1637, and of the barn walls, 1589. Huh. You see, that is what I thought when I, when I saw this. Because you see them all over Ireland, these like these round towers that they would build and basically if the Vikings came a raiding they would go in here and lock the door and from that 
lovely little window you see out up there they could drop all sorts of nasty stuff in it so yeah it just shows that some of this stuff that I've been looking into in Irish history and a visiting place seems to stick And now today it's a cemetery with a with a church. So and I know this wasn't on the program because originally we are setting out to Scaries, but see we're coming through Lusk. And this thing, I might as well check it out. So apparently, these are just a bunch of people that own horses and ride them in buggies and they just get together and go places. It's a little bit like the Royal Enfielders, except we have Royal Enfields and they have horses. Look at that. Hello fella. Now, personally, I don't really mix with horses. I've tried riding them three times. And all three times ended up in being good materials for hilarious stories to be told. But it doesn't mean I admire the skill and the know-how to be dealing with an animal. Hiya. Look at that little fella. It's just adorable. Well, that was interesting. You can see that every day. So after leaving Lusk behind us, it is time to move on to Scaries. And it's a lovely bit of road there and I thought it would be a good moment to kind of revisit some memories and I want to introduce the music of a very good friend of mine called Roy V. Now Roy V and me go back way way back I mean, from before I had my first Royal Enfield which he knew pretty well and uh, I've got so many stories <laughs> that I could tell of what me and Roy been up to, uh, but I probably would get banned from uh, YouTube if I did that. Uh, but anyway, uh, I always known Roy with dragging a guitar with him, uh, sometimes to the annoyance to a, a lot of people, but uh, he persistently practiced playing guitar, and it was recently where he posted up something on his channel and it just brought back the memories of you know the time we, we had together the fun we had the mischief we got into and I figured like hey why don't I use some of his guitar music as some background music of a nice bit of scenery going to Scaries so without further ado here's Roy V with a composition called Moods.
so we made it to Skerries. And there is always something about these Irish coastal towns. They have this vibe of holiday around them. And it does attract a lot of tourists as well. So I'm most happy to have a little stop over here. Especially since I haven't been here before. And as I'm exploring these places, I just find that, you know, even close to home, there are still destinations that are just waiting to be explored. And such is the thing with Scaries. It is a lovely destination. And it's a great place just to have a stop, get a break from the saddle, and just have a look around. Catch anything? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we got a good few. Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah, we did. We gave most away. We got twenty, and it's just got three big ones, you know. So. All right. <laughs> Cheers. So, this is Lusk. Never been here. That's a shame. Just not that too far away from Old Leakslip. You just have to cut past Dublin and the M50. I know, like, I always like to go to Hoat, you know, because, like, Hoat has its own particular vibe, but it seems more touristy. And I'm sure that Lusk will attract its own share of tourism, but this seems to be more like a genuine fishing village as testifies as the number of fishing vessels here i guess this will make a really nice thumbnail almost there almost there yeah that's it maybe a little bit higher get the background oh yes so after obtaining our thumbnail shot it was time to move on and I decided to head up further north to Belbriggan. And as I was like traversing this coastal road, I thought like, yeah, we've got this music theme going on in the video already. So why not plug another musical friend of mine? And I've featured him before, Brandon Hart. And this one is a recent release called Sad Boy Summer. Seems pretty apt. I called this ten years ago I'd end up back here miserable I try to fix champagne problems with whiskey band-aids Left me hopeless and broken always But now I can't leave my room Might stay inside a little longer It's not much to do in this sad boy summer you're tuning in to the heights of the plummet And I think I've had about all that I can stomach Yeah, it's a sad boy summer Throw your hands up even though you don't wanna Ooh, another sad boy summer We ain't going out, we're staying home and that's a bummer And that's a bummer We ain't going out, staying home, that's a bummer There's nothing to do here This whole place is stupid and I don't wanna do Nothing cool happens My friends are all losers I'm just a has-been Shimmy, shimmy, go, go, pop Shimmy, shimmy, rock Another day to press me When will it stop? Am I going crazy? Am I just lost? Someone stop this rock Cause I wanna get off
might stay inside a little longer It's not much to do in the sad boy summer You're tuning in to the heights of the plumbing And I think I've had about all that I can stomach Yeah, it's a sad boy summer Throw your hands up even though you don't wanna Ooh, another sad boy summer We ain't going out, we're staying home and that's a bummer Staying home, that's a bummer So this is Balbriggan Harbour They got a bit, nice bit of beach there How about that? Would that work for a thumbnail? Huh. Right. Time to get our bearings. I mean, we're in Balbriggan, that's not too far out. And I know we weren't really in a hurry in making speed. Because that little road by the by the coastal line, it was just lovely. Even that part where you could do 80, where I did that overtaking thing, it's like way, so. It's half four now. So I got to decide what I'm going to do next. I'm going to push on further. Because when I looked at Google Maps, I was like, I was staring at Drogheda and all that. But reality is, if you want to see things, you got to be able to stop once in a while and just I mean I don't think I'm going to care if I'm this trip is only going to take me like 30 40 kilometers from home I care more about on where my 650 will take me where I've never been before so after visiting Valbriggan and its lovely harbour, I checked the time and I figured I want to go home and get the barbecue ready to enjoy some food with the missus. Uh, it was a bit later in the afternoon, so it was back on the motorway, heading back home, and with the Interceptor 650, it brought me home in no time. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.